Bird. It's about the ball, it won't happen again. Holy shit. Sounds like you and this Miss Bird have some serious issues. How are you, Ben? I actually did it. It's done. It, uh... It's big. Yeah. I want you to read it and tell me what you think. Uh, by Sunday morning. Why, what's Sunday morning? Well, on Sunday morning, I am going to be in the office of Montgomery Powers. Who? Wait, wait, did I ever tell you about Amanda? No. Well, I knew her when my dad was stationed here back in the 10th grade before we moved back east. And we were just friends and everything, but her father publishes books, man. So? So, when I finished this thing, I called her up just to see how she was doing and uh, told her about my writing, and I guess she put in a good word for me. She said that he remembered me and would be happy to see me if I was ever in L.A. He wants to meet me. And if he likes me, he's gonna ask to see the book. So I said, what the hell? You know, my semester's over. Finished polishing, hopped on a plane. Here I am. Wow, I, I uh, guess I'll read it. Yeah, I do. I do, I really wanna know what you think. And, and yourself? I see you still got the old royal around. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, uh, still hammering out the screenplays. You know, hard work, hard work. Yeah? Any luck? Some, some. Got one into a few people's hands. But this one that I'm working on now, it's sort of a, uh, sort of a mood piece. You know, the characters haven't quite come together yet, but, uh, but, you know, I'm working on it slowly. Some days I have good days, and some days I have bad days. But I don't measure my output in words or pages. It's the time you spend on it that counts. Yeah, you're right. You're right. When it comes, it comes. Well, listen, I want to hear all about everything, but I can't stay now. I've got to hook up with a couple of friends I promised to see tonight. Who? Who? Just old friends from school. Tom. Tom, you are going to stay here while you're in town, aren't you? Well, I, I didn't know. Well, what are you talking about? I think a writer needs his space, man. You know, there isn't really anywhere I could be out of your way. No, you're being ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. Of course I can work with you around. In fact, I insist. Well, if that's cool, I, I do need a place to stay. And I need you to stay with me. Great. Where are you meeting your friends? Meeting Dave at O'Malley's on Hollywood Boulevard. I gotta be there when he gets off in, oh shit, two and a half minutes. Go, go, go. Oh, well, um, how will I get back in? I don't wanna wait. You sure? You don't need him? No, no. Well, I'll see you then. Oh, and uh, read my book. It's good.
Yo. How you doing? <coughs> oh. My brain is filled with phlegm. It's a big night, huh? Yeah. Huh. Enough of this. I swear to God, it must have been 85 degrees last night. No wonder everyone was practically in their bathing suits. I mean, you probably take that for granted, but... Remember, I just spent the past six months freezing my balls off. And it's still the worst part about living back east. Yeah. I miss that heat out here. You know, it felt good. Other people must feel the same way, because they were smiling, man. Everyone was just so happy. We got a lot of actors out here, Tom. Guess who I ran into last night? Gable, Cagney, Bogey, Amanda Powers. Oh, daughter of the powerful publishing magnet? Yeah, yeah. Nobody told me she'd be there, and there she was. How was she? We got along real well. In fact, uh, you met Rake. Yeah. I had no idea that something like what happened was even possible between her and me. I mean, only friends, you know? And her father just happens to be someone you'd like to develop a relationship with. Give me a little credit, would you? It's a fortuitous coincidence. Anyway, we're going out tonight. It's impressive, Tom. One night here and you've already got a date. It's nice. It's a rare piece of luck. So, what does this mean? Oh, I haven't the foggiest idea. So then, it could happen, right? What? It. It. Oh, no, I, I, I don't know about that. You wouldn't rule it out. Maybe. Hey, man, that is great. That is great. You, uh, bring her up here. I'll just stay in the kitchen. Ben. Tom, this is what friends are for, man. She digs you. You even said so. And you got to admit that it would not hurt to have an inside track with Daddy. Look, that... that has nothing to do with it. Sure. But she digs you, right? I don't know. Bring her up here. I'll be listening for you guys. I'll just have all my bedding in the kitchen. I'll be quiet, like a mouse. Hey, mi casa su casa. If you say so. You ever hear from Amy? Amy? Oh, oh, no, um, no, I, uh, uh, no. Oh, but that reminds me, I found a, uh, I came across something that you, that you might want to see. Hey. You know, I, I thought a lot about that, uh, that last night that we hung out together in the park. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. I think I made a mistake about Amy, I mean. No, 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 I'm glad you told me. I don't think I should bring Amanda up here tonight. I think you need to relax. Get us some beers? So, by this time, it is three o'clock in the morning, and the pizzas are getting cold, and we are just smoking in this car. And she stops me. She just stops me. And she tells me to spank her, Tell her what a bad girl she's been. So, I'm sitting there trying to remember every smut mag I ever read and trying to get into it and everything. When she stops me again, and she goes, she goes, wait, call me Lisa. So, <laughs> well, her, her name, name was, was Anita. Anita, yeah. <laughs> Do 
Did you make that? Yeah. It's very... creative. Say it 20 times. I am sober, I am sober, I am sober, I am sober, I am right, sober. Right. Just put this on, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, so uh, what time should I expect you guys? Ben, I don't even know if she's all right, gonna Alright, alright, no, no pressure, no pressure, man. Whenever you get here, you get here, alright? But I have faith in you, you'll get here. Alright? Okay. Have a good time. Oh, oh, hey, how far are you? What? Fourth and goal, man, what page are you on? Oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah? It's pretty good, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. All go. right. I am sober. 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 Evening. Evening. How you doing? That's okay. How come? My wife said her sisters, and I'm starving to death. I'm Ben. Joseph. You work around here? Yeah. What do you do? As little as possible. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Do you like it? I hate it. I hate every fucking second of it. If there's one thing in my life I'd like to flush down the toilet, it's my job. And all those idiots that surround me down there. So you don't like it? You know... Sometimes I feel like that kid that fell down that fucking well. Remember that? A couple of years back. Down the bottom of that well and all these problems looking down at me. Pushing me down deeper. I try to climb out of the well, but they just keep hitting me. Getting me more pissed off and more angry and tired. Pretty soon. I just don't care anymore. I don't care if I ever get out. Um, look, I, uh, I guess I'm gonna go down to the boulevard and get a falafel. You have a nice evening, Joseph. Yeah, you too. What does that mean? I don't know. I just, I didn't talk to her after that. That was it. That was the end, you know? Why did you finish so abruptly? I just ran out of things to say to her. You know, I think, I think I had trouble relating to her, you know? Well, I think most men have trouble relating directly to women. Maybe, maybe. Well, I am going to go to the bathroom.
Did your friend do this? What's that? Oh, yes, yes. Well, you know, I helped. I, uh, I put the one on the, uh, well, he, he took it off. It's incredible. There's so much detail. It's very original. So do you want a beer? Sure. You say your friend is a writer. Oh, yes. A damn good one. Looks like your friend is stuck. Well, he says that it isn't the amount that you produce, but the time you put into it that counts. You know, Amanda, we have known each other for a long time. Mm. Huh? Do you have a picture of your friend? Um, no, I, I don't. I do. Yes, wait, I do. Yeah. yeah that's him. Hey, do you remember Calvin Hansen? No. He was in Mr. Snyder's chem class, and we burned his picture out of the yearbooks with the acid. Hmm? No. Sorry, what about him? Uh, well, it's... Uh, it turned out that he was gay. It's funny. <laughs> How did you meet Ben? Why all these questions about Ben? He looks like an interesting person. Does he? Yeah. And I'm curious. Well, I'm an interesting person. Maybe you should be curious about me. Oh! I can squeeze a lot harder, Tom. Is that the way you like it?
pleasant sound. Well, what can I say? The muse stopped by. <laughs> I brought your mail up. Shouldn't leave your box open, man. Yeah. So where's uh, you know who? Oh, we went out to get something to eat. You guys have been eating a long time. No, she had to go, and I just um, walked around for a while. I forgot how crazy this town is. I feel like it would have made it back. We, we got their cash? Yeah. From who? Mom. Is that standard? No, some of it is birthday money. I'm supposed to uh, go get something nice for myself. Birthday <laughs> money? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 don't be. Don't no, be. but still, I, I should have gotten you something. All right, then do. Go get me something. Okay. <laughs> well, what do you get the man who has everything? You, mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad, actually. Oh. Give me one too, boy. Naked, you ain't fucking around, huh? Yeah, must have slipped off. So, uh, tell me. She's a nice oh, person. Come on, you guys sounded so savage last night. When are you gonna see her again? Oh, who knows? Probably won't happen again. What did, what did, what did, what did you do last night? No, I mean, before the, uh, you know, the whole thing here. Oh, we, uh, we went and sat at a bar. Drank, and uh, you know what's really amazing? Mm. She knows where all the places are around here according to the bus routes. Well, 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 why doesn't she drive? I mean, everyone drives here. No, I didn't ask her. You didn't ask her? What did, what did you guys talk about? Oh, bullshit, her parents, I can't remember. Actually, you know, I was the one doing most of the talking. And it wasn't because I wanted to, it was just, it was just, she just kept asking me questions. You know? About what? About my past with women. What about it? Why I had certain relationships and what they meant to me and what I wanted. She asked me a lot of questions about what I wanted from women. What did you tell her? I don't know. I guess I'm a show don't tell kind of guy. I want to meet her. What for? She just sounds like an interesting person. What, you don't want me to meet her? No, it's not that. It's just I don't know when I'm going to see her again. Well, you you will before you leave, won't you? I guess. Just tell me when, man. <sighs> Look, I don't want to spend the whole night with you guys. I understand how it is. I just want to meet her. Quick, and I'm gone, like a mouse. Sure, it's cool. I just want a face, you know? I mean, last night I had a voice, but no face. I understand, that's fine. So, uh, how about tomorrow? <sighs> Maybe. I mean, after tomorrow, then that's Saturday, and that's your last full day before your meeting day, and you don't want to wait till your last full day. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow's probably best. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how far are you? In mine or yours? Mine. Oh, um, they just found out about the thing with the girl, and he's getting expelled and losing his scholarship. Right, right. So? So what? 
So, what do you think? Uh, I think, uh, so what? I don't get it. You don't get it? No, he's, he's become so involved in his college social life that he's, uh, he's losing perspective, right? He's having emotional reality problems. Oh, yeah. okay, he's having emotional reality problems, right. Hey, look, don't get condescending. I want to know what you think. I want something constructive. Here's a piece of constructive advice. Talk is cheap. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Hey, you know, don't take it personally. I mean, you have these people and they just sit around and they just talk. Do you have any idea how limiting that is? I don't see that. Tom, scene. Mom tells son she knows he smokes. Scene. Coach stresses the importance of team chemistry. Scene. A professor expresses his concerns about his failing grades and in, in whatever. Scene. See, Tom, Tom, he just, God, he just, he doesn't do anything, you know? I mean, you are a show don't tell kind of guy, right? I mean, I understand what's going on in Jesse's head. You, as the author, have made it clear what he's thinking, but you have to translate that, you know? How is it affecting the world around him, hmm? You know, if you don't show the significance of his psychology, then your character becomes just trivial, inconsequential. A character isn't what he says. A character is what he does. Action is character. I know that. And, you know, I mean, on, on the other hand, your, your style of writing is, is really good. I mean, you have great rhythm and pacing, a wonderful, wonderful sense of texture. And it feels like it's, uh, like it's warming up as it goes along. I am liking it. Thanks. I'm in the bathroom. So how are you coming along in yours? I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? Slow but sure wins the race, I guess. Hey, I'm like the tortoise, you like the hare, huh? <laughs> Well, how come I finish first, then? <laughs> Don't read that. All right. I'm going to bed. How about you? Um, no, maybe I'll just stay up for a little more. Hmm. Uh... You know, you can play some music if you want. Alright. Yeah, I haven't heard this song in a long time. You were the one that turned me on to this album. Remember that? Yes, I do. First time we ever got stoned together. Yep. Those were good times, man. Good times back then. And she takes the edges off evenings in bedrooms, back seats, big cars. All the while thinking this is the good love. He stays with her most of the time It takes time to make these machines work And people are so unkind People are so unkind Rise and shine, my friend. It's Friday. Oh, 
on. It's Friday, man. Physical fitness day. Our minds are hard and our bodies firm. Up and at them. What time is it? It's late, man. Up, up, up. throw this out the window. You could, but then we'd have to play without the ball. Okay. What are you doing, Miss Bird? Do you know what time it is? I know, I know. No ball playing. You know, I could call the cops on you, and I will, too. Because who knows what all the thumping and bumping is up here. You should see a doctor about that. Look, we're sorry we woke you. It won't happen again. Me. It's not me. I'm always up at this hour. It's him. He can't take the racket. Do you understand? He wakes up at the drop of a pin, just like that. And then he's cranky all day. And then he gets sick. Don't you, Noodles? So don't apologize to me. Apologize to Noodles. We're very sorry, Noodles. We're utterly contrite, Noodles. Animals. You hear me? You're nothing but a couple of animals! Guess we started a bit early today. Yeah. How's the, uh, fun? I think I'm gonna go catch a movie. And then, uh, hook up with Tony when he gets off work tonight. Sounds good. Maybe I'll shower. Cool. Sorry about that. I'll probably be late. Cool. Hey, I tried to call Amanda, but she wasn't home. I talked to her dad, though. Said she'd gone out a while ago. Hmm. 
seemed like a friendly enough guy. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm getting near the end of your book. There are problems, but overall, it tastes good. I didn't think anyone was there. Yeah, I am. Is Tom? No. Um, I just came to get something I think I dropped here. I, I have it. Good. Hey, how, how did you get in? Uh, the lady downstairs was vacuuming, let me in. Here you go. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Yeah. Must have uh, slipped off. Yeah. Thanks. You've been writing? Yeah, yeah. You're busy. Well, it just, uh, you know, hits you sometimes. You never know when the inspiration will strike. You just have to uh, be at your typewriter when it does. You have to keep your eyes peeled. And your ears sharp. And your ears sharp. You saw the cigarette, didn't you? Excuse me? Wednesday night, you knew I was in the kitchen. Maybe. Why did you stay? Because I found Tom attractive. I don't think that's why. What are you writing about, Ben? I asked you my question first. I can't answer that question. And I can't answer yours. Ask me anything else. How do you know Tom? So what were you feeling? If he was gonna fuck me over, that it could be that casual. You know, he he ruined my life, and he acted like he broke a dish. But you stayed friends. Oh, sure. I mean, you know, she wasn't mine. How could I be bitter? I just, you know, drank the rest of the whiskey, and we both slept in the park. And I don't really know how I felt, just that the pieces, those pieces weren't fitting right. I was impatient. I was late for rehearsal, and I entered the intersection too soon. I woke up lying on the sidewalk. Out. Mm. The last thing that I remember at the scene of the accident was this Mexican couple standing above me. And somehow I knew that they were in the truck that hit me. And when they put me on the stretcher to get me in the ambulance, I saw the intersection. It was just gardening equipment everywhere. And all I wanted was for my dad to fix the man's truck and make sure all the gardening equipment was okay. My dad did that for me. What was my point? Tom said you guys uh, spent the afternoon together. No, we didn't. Well, that's what Tom said. I left before he woke up. 
Why would Tom lie to me about that? I don't know. I don't like being lied to. Uh, neither do I. So, I, I took the trash can lid from downstairs and I put it right there. Then I took my entire screenplay and I poured it on top of the lid. Oh. Then I got lighter fluid and so it would really blaze, you know? And I just put it right there and I just torched it. Just fucking torched it. Then, I took a sheaf of paper, all nice and neat, next to the typewriter. Nothing. So then I figured that's gotta be cursed too, so I had to sacrifice them, so I just poured that whole thing on there. And, uh, you know, it's funny, I still have not put the batteries back in the uh, smoke alarms. You could have burned the building down. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I guess the lid just got so hot that it, it charred the hardwood. But, um, I kinda like it, you know? And I haven't written a word since uh, that day seven months ago. Until Tom showed up. Yeah. Until Tom showed up. I still don't have an answer to your question. I don't have an answer to your question. Why don't you um, come over tomorrow night and eat uh, takeout Chinese with me and, and Tom? Don't you think that's a little strange? No, no, I think it would be uh, interesting. I'd like to see you and Tom both together. Okay. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go now. Are you, you gonna be okay getting home? Ah. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Good morning. Good afternoon. Look what I bought. What? It's a little extra birthday present. Guess how much it cost me. I can't. Five bucks at a garage sale. Can you believe it? Guy even drove it over here in his truck. 
I mean, you know, you don't have to keep it. I just wanted to buy it. It was so cheap. I thought you might like some furniture. No, no, no. Well, you know, it's okay. We'll keep it for now. So guess who I just talked to? Who? Mr. Powers. I called to talk to Amanda, but uh, she was still out. I don't know where the hell she could be. Well, she was over here yesterday. What? Yeah, she uh, stopped by after you left, came to pick up that silver ring she left here. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry that I wasn't here to take care of it. I hope that she didn't bug you. No, we uh, talked for a while, actually. We had a great time. She doesn't drive, Tom, because she got in a car accident. Yeah, I invited her over to eat takeout Chinese tonight. With just you? Now, what would be the point if you weren't here? I don't think that's such a good idea. Well, anyway, she didn't seem to mind. Uh... Tom, she knows I was in the kitchen the other night. She does? Yeah. How? Did you tell her? No. She just, um, you know, made, uh, contact. Well, fuck! Well, I can't see her then. Not with you, at least. Why not? Why not? Because I wouldn't feel comfortable. That's why not. She didn't seem to mind. Well, I don't care what she minds. I just, that's just, I don't like it, and I don't want to do that. Tom, Tom, look who you're talking to here, all right? I just want to spend some time with you, man. We can all have a good time. She understands what was going on here that night, and she I She must think it was a big setup. And hell, it was a big setup. No. No, it wasn't. Is that what you think? Man, I was just giving you your space. That's what she thinks, and that's what she should think, because that's what I was doing. Man, I was doing you a favor. You know what happened today? I got to the point in your book where Jesse comes in, and Lisa starts slamming all the cupboards, and all the glasses start breaking. Do you remember that? Yeah, I wrote it. Yeah, well, I loved it. Loved it. It was, it was raw. It was powerful. Rage and violence. And that gave me a great idea for a scene in my script. Well, I'm glad I could help. You did. You did. She'll be here around 7. All right? All right. It'll be nice. Shit, man. Where's my fucking so, uh, how'd your talk with Mr. Powers go? Oh, uh, fine. Uh, I think he really likes me. We talked for a while. Said he was really excited about reading my book. <coughs> Said he was really looking forward to it. Sounds like he gave you some good vibes. Yeah. So anyway. Hey, where's the, uh... It's been recycled. Why? Shit, I like that thing. Hey, pass me the lo mein. Hmm? Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> hey, uh, is there any more wine? Uh, maybe. Check the kitchen. Thank you. You good? You good. Just gone. Yeah, yeah, I got the last of that. There you go. I don't have anything to go with mushrooms. Yeah, you can have some of this. You can have this there. 
Yeah, that's enough. No, that's good for you. You're gonna have more. It's enough. Yeah, you're gonna it's have enough. more. You're gonna have more. You're gonna have more. <laughs> um, so you're meeting my dad tomorrow, aren't you? Yes. Yes. A little nervous about that? No, not really. He, uh, he made me feel pretty comfortable on the phone. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty nice guy. He likes everyone. <coughs> <coughs> you getting sick? No. No, I'm fine. You sure about that? Yeah. I love this song. I'm going to my meeting. I'll be back soon. All right. You, uh, you want some aspirin? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> you want some lo mein? <laughs> mm. mm. I'm a dad. 
ask you, what happened to your sculpture? Uh, it was finished. We're still. He's, um, he's with your father. I think he's a little lost. I think that's an understatement. I think he has a problem. I think he's got lots of problems. Good evening. Hi. Where you been all day? Walking. Where'd you walk? Around. I walked uh, through downtown Hollywood, through a little of Griffith Park, I think. Was it nice? It wasn't nice. Did you, uh, see any interesting people? I saw crazy people. And I saw rich people driving expensive cars. And I saw a lot of shit in the streets. Doesn't sound like you had a good day. I didn't have a good day. How'd your meeting go? It wasn't all that you expected. Hmm? Wasn't too successful. Well, what happened? Well, I showed up five minutes early. And this house is beautiful. Marble floors and secretary had me wait up by the pool. I could see all of West L.A. from the deck. I was so nervous. You know, I just felt like, like something so important was about to happen. So secretary leads me into his office. And everywhere, I mean everywhere, on the floor, on the shelves, on the chair, on the desk, in stacks. Manuscripts. Like fucking mountains. So he goes, these are the ones that I haven't read yet. Needless to say, he didn't ask for mine. But I'm sure if Amanda helped you, then the man is inundated. That wasn't even the worst part. As I walked down the driveway, at the end, there's this, this huge green bin, one of those recycling things. 
There were tons of them. I read the titles. It, most of them were Hollywood insider stories, cheap and trashy. There's tons of them. All going to be recycled. All going to be made in a new paper so that some other asshole could write another book about nothing important. That's rough. But I'm sure if Amanda helped you, I mean, she said she would for me. What? Yeah, she said when I'm done with my first draft, she'd make sure her dad read it. A screenplay? Before. Just to get his opinion. I think that's nice, don't you? Yeah. Did Amanda get off okay today? She drank a lot last night. Yeah. I got her all taken care of. I thought she already came and got this. Oh, she uh, must have dropped it here this morning. Or last night. Or last night. Should do that. Ben. Yes. You hadn't been writing before I got here, had you? No. your movie about? Do you really want to know? Yes, I do. Cannibalism. Figuratively. No, literally. He's physically eating people. They find the bones in the basement. <laughs> they smell it. It's very messy. Ben? Yeah? My book. Did you finish it? Yeah, I finished it today, actually. And? I didn't like the ending very much. It wasn't very definitive, vague. You kept trying to explain the ending you were going for, but you just didn't earn it. You know, that's just my opinion. That, you know, show don't tell, right? Where is it? What? My manuscript. Oh. It's around. Where? Don't worry, Tom. I've got it.
eye. Maybe you should try to catch that red eye, Tom. You'd have to sleep in the kitchen tonight anyway. You should leave now. You're telling me to leave. I'm asking you as a friend. Why don't you come over here and show me out? yours.
Morning. Morning. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was a nice party you were throwing the other night. It was expensive as what it was. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sometimes that's nice. Yeah, a little smiling to keep everybody happy goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah. So what's on the agenda for today, Joseph? Shit, man. Work. What do you do? All right. <laughs> 